it's Sarah. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make some DIY fidget toys. I'll be showing how to make a poppet fidget, stress ball, slime, and more. On the screen are today's shoutouts. If you guys also would like a shoutout, just subscribe, turn your notifications on, and be the first 20 people to comment hashtag notification squad on my video. I'm super excited to show you how to make these DIY fidget toys, so now let's start. The first fidget toy we'll be making is a stress ball, also known as a needle. So for that, you'll be needing a balloon and some glue. The first thing you will do is grab a funnel, and if you do not have one, you can use an empty plastic water bottle, and then just remove the lid. And cut the top part off. Just like that, and also don't throw out the bottom part because you actually might need it. So from there, take your balloon and slide it on top of your hole. Like this, and put it into your bottom part. Then get your Elmer's at School white glue and pour it into the funnel. And keep pouring until your balloon is completely filled with glue. Once you're done, take off the take the funnel off the bottom of the water bottle and twist the balloon. Then carefully remove the balloon off the funnel. And then tie the balloon. Finish tying. Just cut off the excess balloon right here. You are officially done with your DIY Neato or stress ball. It's also a color changing Neato, which is so so cool. And massages your hands so well, I can literally not put this down. It feels so good. I would highly recommend this fidget as it also doesn't use that many supplies. For the next fidget toy, we will be making a DIY chocolate poppet fidget. So for that, you'll be needing an empty pill container and a piece of thin cardboard. The first thing you will do is empty out any foil or pills you have in your pill container. Then decide which two you are going to use for your poppet and cut those two out. And now just trim the edges so it's not sharp on the sides. What you will do is take some brown paint and paint the inside of the pill container brown. So here I have a paintbrush and brown, brown paint. And make sure to paint the inside of the container. Then just let it sit aside for it to dry. And now bring in your cardboard and trace a rectangular shape on the cardboard. And then just cut it out. And once you're done cutting, take a brown marker and color your chocolate bar brown. Then bring in your pill container and trace it on your cardboard where you want it to be. So I want mine to be right here. So I'm going to trace the holes. Then to make it easier to cut out the circle, bend your cardboard in half. And then cut a tiny slit. Just like that. Then stick your scissors in there and cut out the holes. I would recommend using nail scissors to make it easier for you to cut the holes out. Then stick your pill container into the holes right here so they can fit. Just like this. 
and then tape them from the back. So I put four pieces of tape on the back, one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right there. And I think that should be pretty good. So now you are almost done with your poppet fidget. Now just add any accessories you would like. Since mine's a chocolate bar, I'm going to add a cute little face. So here's how my chocolate poppet fidget looks like when I finish decorating it and doing everything else. It looks so, so cute. And it kind of reminds me of like chocolate bread or something. But here's a chocolate bar and it even got bitten out by somebody. So here it is. It makes such nice ASMR and it is super fun to play with. It's also kind of like a crafty fidget toy. I would highly recommend this fidget toy. I would definitely play with this when I'm doing my homework or just editing my video. It is so, so cute. And I would definitely rate this fidget toy a 10 out of 10. For the last fidget toy, we will be making some slime. And for that, You'll be needing some glue, lotion, and some borax activator. The first thing you'll do is get a clean bowl and spoon and a clean surface. Pour in some Elmer's School white glue into your bowl, and you can add as much as you want. I think this should be good. Next, just add in one to two pumps of some lotion and then mix it around. Now this part is optional, but you can add in some food coloring to make your slime nice and colorful. So I'm going to dye my slime pink. So I'm gonna add in some red food coloring. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Look how pretty that looks. It reminds me of like Hubba Wubba bubble gum or something like that. And lastly, you will need some borax solution. If you don't have borax, you can also use contact lens solution. And if you don't have any of those, I show how to make some borax activator and that video will be linked in the description box down below. So you can go check it out. So now just pour in a little bit of activator and then stir. Then keep on adding activator little by little as you're mixing and do not add too much at a time or else it'll overactivate your slime. So here's how my slime looks after I finished activating and kneading it in. So, so glossy, it has amazing bubble pops. It is also really clicky and fun to play with. Right now my slime texture is kind of plain, so I'm going to add in some pink foam beads to make the slime nice and crunchy. And now some ASMR. My slime reminds me exactly of bubble gum, like it's the exact color of it. And it, right now these foam beads made the slime so crunchy. And now for the final touch to add on top of the slime, I will add in it some of this holographic pink shiny glitter. It's so, so pretty and sparkly. So I'm just gonna make a quick little swirl. Oh, um, do you guys look how pretty that looks? The pink matches so well with the glitter. And the glitter just makes that like tiny like cherry on top. This looks so pretty. And again, it looks exactly like bubble gum. Make sure you comment down below names for the slime. So now let's mix this all together.
this slime is just so crunchy and beautiful the glitter on top is just perfect also you can add any add-ins you want like slushy beads arms basically anything else you want so i would highly recommend this fidget toy it's just so fun to play with and it's just really easy to make i'm definitely rating this slime a 10 out of 10 And yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below which fidget was your favorite and which one you tried. I think my favorite fidget was probably the slime or the Neato because it's like color changing and it just feels so good. And the slime just has such good ASMR and I just can't put it down. So yeah. Comment down below if you want more of these fidget videos and like, subscribe if you want to. Bye!